everyone. Hey, I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill from The Real Shot. Welcome to another Real Report. And we didn't even have a chance to uh, get the rod set here. and We've got uh, three fish on. And we're out here on the west end of Lake Poygan, pulling Selmos. And uh, we got the first fish in the boat here. It looks to be about a 15, 16 inch walleye. Got a beautiful day on the water today. Let's see what we got here. This one seems to be a little bit smaller. But, oh, no. it just popped off. It was a walleye. I did <laughs> see it. Yeah, me too. And then we got this one. This one seems to be a little bit nicer as well. Oh, the first color, I don't even know what color. I think that was on the monkey puke. The first fish was on the monkey puke uh, Selmo. Uh, we're putting them 25 to 35 feet back. Uh, trolling about 1, 8, 1, 9 or so. And this seems to be a nice fish. There we go. Five minutes, two fish. Missed a third. And uh, we've got three lines in the water. We're gonna get these fish out, get the lines back in, and uh, hopefully we can get catch a few more fish. But you know, nothing special actually. This last one here was on the uh, looks like a flicker shad. The purple descent. Or what is that? Tennessee shad or purple shad? Purple tiger. Purple tiger. And we'll get the fish out of that here first. Before I get a hook in me. There's one. That was on the purple tiger. And the number four Salmo monkey puke. And another nice eater walleye. That's two. Alright. Two fish in the box. Five minutes fishing. Um, we're going to catch some more here, I think, and uh, have a good day. Let's regroup. Well, we got a double on here now. I got a pretty nice one on here. On my side. And on Roger's side, there's another one. Either we went to a school of walleyes or a school of sheephead, one of the two. Let's hope they're walleyes. This one's coming in awful quick. shoulders to it. Now here it is after the 4th of July weekend and there's almost as many fish out on Lake Poygan as there is out on Winnebago. Oh my goodness. 
and uh, you know it's it's like it's back in early June, and the fish are just starting to go really good here out on Poya. Now they've been going, you know, for a good week or so, but it's nice to finally see some fish being caught out here. I think we got a good fish on here. I don't know, it might be a white bass. It's pulling pretty hard. Ah, kitty cat. The elusive kitty cat. Can't be out on Lake Poygan without catching a catfish. That one's on the Viking. This fish here will fool you every time. Either a walleye or a catfish. Little channels. And we got another one there on the outside board. So here's got some weight to him too. We'll say that was a walleye. This is a walleye, it looks a little bit better. I just, I'm still bewildered. It's temperature 85 and a half degrees. Middle of the day, it's gotta be close to 85, 90 degrees outside. On Lake Poygan, almost the middle of July, and there's still walleyes out here. Just, something just does not seem right about the whole thing. It's a walleye. We'll get the uh, not a very big one, but it's a walleye. We'll get the S2 slider out. You know, this is just an awesome net. How quick and easy it is to extend by yourself. Get it out there. Hook is off. Fish is in the basket. And that was actually on one of the new baits this year from Storm. And that is the uh, Deep Thin Fins. This has always been one of my favorite baits on this system, on the Poygan system, just because of the wide profile. Um, I'm you know, really used to using the original Fin Fins from, from Storm from back in the day, but now they got the deep ones. And uh, that one too, you know, we're running that you know, 25, 30 feet behind the boards as well. But um, it's good bait. I have a lot, a lot of confidence in it. And as you can see, it uh, caught us a walleye here today. Ah, <laughs> perch. <laughs> Looks like caught him in the mouth and hook came back and caught him in the side of the back. Ooh. Now this is one thing too that the Winnebago is just absolutely putting out a lot of right now is perch fishing. And uh, I think that's what our next reporter will be, is uh, hitting Lake Winnebago for some perch and bluegills. Uh, we're going to let this guy go here today, but uh, yeah, not a bad little perch, about seven incher. Uh, I guess we're going to leave it at that. Uh, while I fish out on Lake Poygan, I can't imagine it getting any you know, worse. It's been real good here for the last couple weeks. Uh, I know the guys are catching some fish actually in the river on flies uh, by the Winnick County Bridge. Guys are getting them jigging and trolling this whole west end. And uh, we've had a pretty good day today. I think we got five or six fish in the box. We, you know, right away we got into them. Um, obviously, if you can get out here first thing bright and early in the morning, and you know, right at uh, dark, I know the fishing's been a lot better there. Especially probably when the water is a little bit cooler if we get an overcast day. But uh, you know, it's still nice to get out. There is not one person within a mile of us anywhere fishing right now. 
Uh, I'm sure that'll probably change after the guys watch the video, but hey, you know, that's what, that's what it's all about, is getting you guys out here, teaching you a few things, and uh, hopefully you guys can catch a few yourselves. But until next time, I'm Troy Peterson, Mr. Bugio from The Real Shot, and uh, wishing you guys the best of luck on the water. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys next week. Have a good weekend.